Hello and welcome back to another Monster High video. I'm Carly and today we are going to be taking a look at the original version of Caddy Noir from the 13 Wishes movie. As you can tell, there is a lot going on with this doll, so let's just go ahead and start out with what you get in her box. You, of course, get Caddy Noir, but you also get her doll stand, and instead of being the traditional clip back doll stand that you see with most dolls, she has one that looks a lot like the ones that you got with the Ghouls Alive collection, so the base is a big black glossy skelet. And then there is this clear part that ends in a saddle hold, which is a little uncomfortable and inconvenient in my opinion since these things can wobble off, they're not as secure. And of course she comes with a hairbrush, which will definitely get its use because there is a lot of hair here, so it just looks like all the other ones you normally get, Black Skelet with the Monster High logo on the handle. Let's go ahead and take a look at her diary. It is super cool and stylized to fit her personality. So you got this big pink sparkly 13, which as you will be able to see is a recurring theme with her. And it's also got this shattered pattern over some really nice pebbled black leather. And on the back you have a rhinestone skelet. And on the first page you actually have her little signature. And since she is a celebrity, it's pretty stylized, but if you guys want to go ahead and pause and read while I'm flipping through this, be my guest. Her diary basically is just chronicling her everyday life, about how she wants to be a regular ghoul, just like everybody else, and go to school, but her fame is kind of getting in the way of that. She's getting a little tired of the spotlight, and I totally feel for her. And then, of course, here is her About Me section, which is really, really cool. There's a lot about her. She's very, very habitual and superstitious. And we actually have a favorite color in common, so yay for magenta lovers. All right, so that was her diary. Let's go ahead and move on to her hair and makeup. Reading through her diary, you would learn that she really likes sparkly stuff, and you can definitely tell that with her eyeshadow. She has this really intense silver glitter as her brow highlight, her transition color, her lid color, her lower lash line color. She's got a little bit purple there in the crease. She's got these amazing arch purple brows, and she has on a pinkish purple lip. As for her hair, she has some framing bits here in the front, which are kind of tied off there. But you have this crazy long ponytail with pink and lighter pink in it. And mine is a little scraggly. I tried my best to brush it out, but there's just something about the texture of this hair that doesn't want to be tamed. But this is super, super long. It definitely goes way past the waist, which is where most Monster High dolls' hair stops. And if it wasn't in a ponytail, it'd probably be down to like her calves or something. So this is a lot of hair. As for her accessories, let's start out with her earrings. She has a pink 13 on one ear and then two little hoops on the other. She has this crazy metallic choker. And if you can tell, there's a little 13 there as well. It's Pretty much magenta, made to look like a broken mirror, which is one of her good luck charms. She also has some metallic magenta little studded cuffs and a silver bangle, and she does come with a little microphone that has a skelet on it, and of course it is metallic magenta. And she has another metallic magenta bangle. This one is also studded, but it's got this little whatever this is up here. It's just a big closure, I guess. And that is all of her accessories. Her dress is so freaky fabulous. There is so much going on here and I cannot wait to show you guys this. But the top has a broken mirror detail to it. It's reflective silver. And there's actually a pink 13 on the side. It does have a black strap that actually blends into her skin, which makes it look sleeveless, which is really cool. And then she has some white fishnet directly underneath that, followed by some pink tulle with all of these reflective silver polka dots. And then underneath there's another layer of tulle with some reflective magenta polka dots. And then there is her actual skirt, which is this almost sheer kind of pinkish magenta color. And if you flip her around back, there's this crazy long train. Like it's absolutely nuts. You have. Let's see here, you have both layers of the netting and the actual dress itself, and it's just totally shredded underneath. It is so, so cool. And speaking of cool, let's take a look at her boots. These are heelless boots, and they are silver, and they look like cracked mirrors. And they don't actually have the open back like most 
you know, doll shoes from Monster High does. Uh, these things actually open. They are split into two halves, this side and this half, but they're a little bit of a pain to get back on, so if you take them off, be prepared to be a little angry about them for a while. But these are so, so cool. They're hard plastic, they look awesome, and they totally go with this crazy broken mirror, super glittery, awesome, over-the-top outfits. Before wrapping up, let's go ahead and take a look at some of Caddy's freaky flaws. She, of course, is a cat, so she's got her little cat ears, which are super cute. She's also got a little cat nose, and she is completely black. She's a black cat, which is, you know, by us normie standards, pretty unlucky, but it's lucky for her. And since she is a cat, she does have a tail, which is super long and likes to get caught in her dress a lot. It doesn't stand up by itself, but no, that's fine with me. I don't really mind all that much. And she also has the clawed hands like most werecats or werewolves have in this doll line. And that's all we have for Freaky Freaky Flaws. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun getting to know Caddy. She is just an amazingly extravagant doll. She is just super, super cool. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And never forget to be yourself, be unique, and be a monster. Now you can watch another one of my Monster High videos or one of my other friends' videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples.